Now we're back to GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to create a blurred outline. It's similar to the methods that I've shown you before for other outlines. I'm going to add a couple of details. At first we've got this photo. You will find it via description link below. I use the Paths tool to select it. There are many options to select it. If you're new to this, check out my GIMP playlist. I've made videos about basically all of them. But for these shapes, I just like to use the standard Paths tool. I go over the outline that I want. And when I've reached the starting point, I hold control. This cursor icon will change and then I can left click to close my shape or in this case to close my path. Next up, I right click, use select and then from path and you can see here's my selection. It's just an example, but when you go over a real life project, you can see it's not perfect. It's all straight lines and there are curves in this. You can handle that by, let me go to select, use none, and then I just left click on all of these path nodes or these anchor points and I reposition them. You can just hover over them when you've got the paths to active. And then you can click and drag to create these curved lines and you get the handles to adjust the angle like this. So if you have more complex, more curvy shapes that you want to have an outline for, you'll definitely have to do this. In this case, it's not that important as the car has many straight lines. But I'm going to go over a couple of these details anyway. I've said it's always the same process. Hover over the line, left click, drag. And you get the handles to adjust the angle. And you can always click on the individual anchor points and reposition them as well. As long as your paths tool is active. I'm happy with this one. So once again, right click select and then from path, you'll get this marching arms indicator that shows you what your selection is. Afterwards, we've got a couple of options. I like to work with the copy. So I copy the original photo layer. I go to the top one, right click and add a layer mask. It's important to have selection selected right here and then click on add. So what I've created is this, it's basically a cutout. In between these two layers, I add a new layer. It's important that it's transparent and I call it outline right here. Now I go to select and I grow my selection a little bit. So it's going to expand it. Let me use 20 pixels. That should be fine in this example. I am on my outline layer, which is important. Then I go to edit and stroke selection. I use solid color, which selects the foreground color, in this case black. And you can play around with the style right here. For example, change the cap style to round, join style, I keep it round. What's definitely is important that in the drop down you have a line. You can also keep custom, which should be a line by default, but make sure that you see a straight line and you can adjust the size right here. Let me use 50 and I confirm it. To get rid of the marching arms, go to select and use none. And here's our outline. Using it like this gives you the freedom to play around with the top layer. So you can reposition that, put the outline layer, for example, on top. And it gives your outline a different, let's say, base point. If you want to make it a blurred line, make sure that you're still on your outline layer. Then go to filters blur and use the Gaussian blur. I'll increase it, but not too much. If you're too far, you're going to make your outline vanish. I think that already 10 is too much. So for the most part, you want to stay around five, six, 
something like this. Confirm it and you've got a blur. Another advantage of doing it like this, like I've shown you, is you can easily create a new layer called background. And let me make it white for example. Now I'll put it to the bottom. And there you go, we've got a cutout with an outline and the background is gone. So if you need that, you can use this layer mask method for doing that as well. And this is how you can create blurred outlines in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.